What is going on, everybody? Not to love our XOX here. Welcome back to Let's Play Splinter Cell Conviction. We are at the uh, monument to the asshole. The president's on the line, Sam. We need to eavesdrop on the conversation Reed's about to have with Galliard. Jesus. So bug the memorial. We thought of that, Mr. Fisher. Galliard's people scrubbed the site in preparation for my vice president's charming little speech. And there was no time to get new equipment in place. And what's plan B? You are. This morning's camera equipment is still in place. Get to the control booth, pack the camera controls to record the conversation, and uplink the feed to us. Just like that. All right, I'm on it. All right, um... Interesting thing... Madam President. I'm liking the Madam President thing. Don't, uh, don't mind me, just, uh... Jesus fucking Christ, Sam, you fucking idiot! <laughs> How about you go inside and shut the door from the ins? Thank you. That was that's so hard. Jesus. All right, Grim. I'm in the camera booth now. What? You need to sync the feed from the console to me so that I can see what we're getting. It should be easy to hack. Hang on. That's it. Now I need you to get comfortable with those camera controls. We're dealing with directional mics here, high-end, but they're integrated with the camera focus. Get Reed and Galliard in the shot, and we'll get the audio. Miss them, and we get nothing. And here they come... now. Camera... Useless. 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 Oh. Oh, there they are. Come on, Sam. I don't know where they are, asshole. You need to tighten up the shot, Sam. There we go. As you can make it. We've got some last minute logistic issues to discuss. We're 24 it. hours out and you want to talk paperclip requisitions here, now. The site's clean, and I knew you'd be here since your company did the setup on the Samson speech. One of my companies, yes. I have several. <laughs> which includes Black Arrow, which I assume is what you want to talk about. We can talk about Black Arrow shortcomings later. I want to talk about what I need to make this go off smoothly. Do you not? I was impressed that he said that. What did you think of Samson's speech? It was a nice piece of grandstanding. He should give his writers a raise. He swears he writes all his speeches himself. I'm sure it plays well for the folks back home. I don't like the chances. You don't like Samson? I don't trust Samson. But... If you had a better tool, I'd be using it. My, my, are you actually threatening me? I thought we were both... The fuck did they this go? This isn't good enough. Oh, there they are. This is what your people want. The people I represent want you to deal with Fisher. Stop wasting time. Stop wasting their money. If Megiddo's getting cold feet... Let, let me make this clear, Reed. Megiddo planned this operation. Megiddo paid for this operation. And Megiddo would be very upset if anyone were allowed to interfere with it. He's not going to interfere because my men will deal with him. Since Black Arrow wasn't able to. I'll worry about Black Arrow. You stick to the plan. Like I was saying, it's interesting that you chose this place to meet. Of all places. And why would you say that? The eyes of history are upon us. I'd rather keep our part in things out of the history books, thank you. Really? I thought you enjoyed the spotlight more than that. I'll do the song and dance when I have to, but the man on stage is the one with the least cover. And cover's important, especially at a time like this. Which would explain why you're still here. Executive oversight. I hate leaving things to chance, or third party. You're supposed to be in Paris. All hell's about to break loose. 
My men will be very busy. So I cannot guarantee your safety. I'm not asking you to. Are you sure? This is to protect you and the operation. Some things require a personal touch. Now, if that's everything, we're done here. I'll see you when it's over. Goodbye, Lucius. Let's go after Reed. No, the smart play is to talk to Galliard. We can find Reed later. I concur. I want to know more about Megiddo, and Lucius Galliard is the only source we have. Okay, go. I'll freeze Galliard in place. Galliard. Mr. Galliard, my name is Anna Grimm's daughter. I'm calling on behalf of Tom Reed at Third Echelon. I know who you are. I just finished talking with your boss. What does Reed want now? Director Reed felt that the resolution that you two came to probably wasn't satisfactory for all sides. Jesus. And was wondering if you'd be open to further discussion on the matter. Oh, how very thoughtful of him. The answer is still no. He'd like to know if there's anything else that could be put on the table to get you to reconsider. Oh, a pry. Mr. Galliard, I think you're misunderstanding the purpose of my call. No, I don't think I am. Let me explain something, Miss Grimm's daughter. All I want from Tom Reed is for him to do his damn job. Why don't you tell him that for me? If you'll hold for one sec... You really shouldn't <gasps> talk to Grimm like that. <laughs> guards! Where the hell are my guards? It's just you and me, Lucius. Let's talk. What's your connection with Reed? If you ask nicely, I tell you. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, you know my thing. Oh, God damn. He's just hired help. God, you're thick. This is bigger than Reed. Bigger than Third Echelon. They're just convenient. Then why does Reed want you out of town? Ugh. Your enhanced interrogation techniques need work. What do they? Let me show you what kind of work I've been giving them. He wants to run the show when the EMPs are triggered. There's three of them scattered around the city. In a few hours, they go off, and he gets to play commando. There are people he wants to impress. The EMPs. Where do I find them? Say please. Please. Oh, God. I don't know. That's part of the plan. You see? You can't stop it, Fisher. It's too big. It's too late. And the people I work for, this is just part of what they've got going on. Megiddo. Who are they? Try harder, Fisher. Sounds like a plan. Get smacked. Huh? Megiddo. Who are they? They're the ones who run this town. In Moscow, in Beijing, in any other place that matters. <laughs> They're the ones who are going to get me out of this one piece. And once Reed is finished at the one... <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Officer in trouble! Sam, what's happening? Galliard's dead. The shooter's running. We need him alive. He may be our only link between Third Echelon and Megiddo. I got it. Where the fuck? I've got a visual. He's on the stage. Get him! Come here, you piece of shit. He just ducked into the VIP tent. Move it, Sam. I'm here! Let's go. I'm here! Am I getting fucking shot by him? Are you fucking shooting me? He went over the fence. All units, we have an officer in trouble at Lincoln Memorial. All units. Sam, you use all lethal force when dealing with the police. No killing. President's orders. I wasn't gonna do it anyway. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck you both, fuck you both. God damn it. What do you think I'm trying to do? He's waiting for you again, Sam. I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, you also are a bad shot. Go 
faster, you piece of shit. Come on, Sam, you old man. Jump down. Keep going, dead ahead. I can see that. Get out of my way. Shit. Jesus. He's outside and on the move again, Sam. Seriously? Jesus. Useless. Officer in trouble. Ah, mother. Ah. Get beaten up. Oh my God. You sick bastard. Any yeah, no way are you a cop. Back from your location. Any idea why? I'll tap into their Como to find out. multiple third echelon squads converging on your position right now. What about the cops? Third echelon called them off when they rolled up the shooter. Then the gloves are off. I need a ride out of here. The Secret Service agent who brought you in is on his way to extract you. But until he gets there, you're on your own. Of course I am. Police are reporting a real-life deadly accident at the Lincoln Memorial later that morning. Alright, well. No signs of fishing. Better hurry. Colonel Reed can't stall the cops forever. Alright. Oh, hell, this, that was a useless pipe for nothing else. Sector's clear. Where are the guards? The third echelon squad, apparently. The fuck are they? They have stairs? Maybe if I go upstairs, I could be like super sniper mode. Where the fuck are these people walking around like like scared bitch? And there are no guards. Yeah, there's one. Stay alert. He's here somewhere. Area seems clear. Let's get back to work, but stay frosty. Nothing unusual to report. Everybody stay sharp. You see the target? Sound off. Sam, a second wave of operatives is on its way. Unmark him. I was like, Mark and execute. No, nope, Mark. It, unmark. Go, go. On, I'm gonna inside. die now. <sighs> that was my own fault. I marked him and then unmarked him. My fault. My fault. Jesus. Get pistols anyway. I just want the MP5. Thank you for that. Or UMP, whatever. Same difference. Kind of is. You know what? You never mess with on the first floor. You stop shooting me with a shotgun. God damn. God damn it. God damn it. Another batch coming at you, Sam. Jesus. Am I not surprised? There you go. 
window. Oh my god. Time to go, Sam. Your ride is here. Where? On the bridge behind the cafe. Go. I'm going. Now I fucking went. Jesus. Shows you how much Sam changed that he would even think about going after Third Echelon. He'd been a company man, loyal to the bone. But now, here he was, ready to rip the guts out of the beast. The building's weakness was in the power supply. The main feed and primary backup ran through the basement parking garage. With a little C4 in the right places, Sam could cut the power to the building long enough to slip inside Third Echelon. That was good enough for Sam. He was going in, and he wanted them to know he was coming. <laughs> Damn straight I do. Sam, are you in the garage? Smell like a spare tire. It was the best way. Now I need you to use the C4 you packed to take out the building's primary and secondary transformers. Do it simultaneously when you reach the front desk, and you'll have a short window before the emergency power puts security back online. They're both on the parking level, right? Right, but in two separate rooms. And don't be seen or they're gonna seal the security doors and you're done. And don't give those surveillance cameras a show. Yeah. I feel you. Alright, so, that is where I will end the episode. Um, please be sure to leave a like and be sure to subscribe. And uh, when we come back, we will be uh, infiltrating Third Echelon, which I never thought I'd be doing. So, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.